So again, can you guys uh, hear me? We're live. Did we just did we just go live now? I've been talking for about two minutes. Just type one in the chat if you can uh, hear me and my mic is working well. Okay. Yep, you can hear me. Type one in the chat if the mic is working well. Okay, I think there was a bit of a delay there with the stream, but ladies and gentlemen, it's been a big 24 hours. We have a lot to cover in today's video with what happened in the markets on Friday. The actual scary truth why gold is rallying and rallying so aggressively. We've got some very, very unsettling news with what's happening in the Middle East, some major escalations there. We also got some news with BRICS, what they're doing with hoarding gold to potentially make their new gold-backed currency to get away from US sanctions and even create a gold-backed currency that could rival the dollar. So everyone, you know what time it is. Let's get straight into news, the facts, and the data. So it was it's it was the worst day for the Dow um, on Friday. It plunged nearly 600 points at one stage. We'll go ahead and have a look here. Also, JP Morgan shares closed at 6%. Uh, the bank said net interest income, a key measure of what it makes through lending activities, could be a little short of what all Wall Street analysts were expecting. But also, we're going to go over some uh, warnings from Jamie Dimon later in the video. Now, oil prices have been skyrocketing. And this is very, very bad news because if oil continues to skyrocket, and just after what just happened only hours ago, uh, we're going to see oil continue to skyrocket and this inflation crisis is going to get much worse. Uh, and I don't think the Federal Reserve is going to be able to stop it. We also saw Bitcoin plunge from around 71,000. There was a flash crash down to 61,000. But we've seen this for the past month now. Gold has been on a huge rally. And the reason I think that is, is because the BRICS nations, uh, because Iran, a lot of these other Middle Eastern countries, they're panic buying gold, they're holding gold in preparations for what could potentially be World War Three. And I don't say that lightly, everyone. I hope and pray this doesn't lead to major conflicts when, you know, US troops, Australian troops, New Zealand troops, uh, British troops are on the ground and getting involved, but it is not looking good. So this just came out, uh, it's been updated about 30 minutes ago. Iran has launched a drone attacks at Israel, US officials says. Now, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm a military expert, like a lot of financial YouTubers all of a sudden, you know, they, they become military experts with this stuff, but this it's quite simple, everyone. This is a major, major escalation. Uh, thanks for that super, uh, chat about Zimbabwe has returned to the gold standard. That's great, especially for Zimbabwe. Uh, they really need to do that. But we can see here, Iran launched an attack on Is Israel, escalating long-standing tensions between the two nations. And we've seen the US really try to hype up a conflict with Iran. We know the US hates Iran. Um, I'm not going to pick sides here. You know, there's both sides aren't angels. But Iran said they did this because of the attack that happened on April 1st uh, on their consulate in Damascus. And they said, we'll retaliate. And then Israel said, well, if you retaliate for us attacking your embassy, then we'll retaliate. So again, people, there's no good guys versus bad guys in the real world. It is just war, okay? Um, Israel has also threatened to counterattack if Iran made any retaliatory moves. Though Israel has neither confirmed nor denied, uh, denied. So again, they haven't denied their involvement in the Damascus strike. So again, there is no heroes, good guys versus bad guys. It's only Israel versus Iran. It's the West versus the East. Um, and there's going to be big consequences for the economy and for the markets and for the dollar. This just came out as well. Uh, just two hours ago, airspace closures throughout the Middle East um, has come to a halt. You know, the, the, all planes have been grounded. Uh, they've diverted flights as Iran launches drone attacks on Israel. So this is very, very concerning, everyone. This is very, very worrying. Um, we've lived through very peaceful times, you know, for the past 40, 50 years. 
Um, we've had lots of good times. And you know the old saying, good times make weak men and weak men create hard times. We've had it good in the West. And hopefully this doesn't lead to an all-out conflict in the West, but I think things will escalate. And this is going to be bad for the dollar because the Federal Reserve, if the US gets involved in a direct conflict with Iran, they're not going to worry about inflation. They're going to let inflation rip because the US government is going to have to borrow, borrow, borrow. If you think the US government deficits are bad now, wait until the US gets in a direct uh, conflict with Iran. And then, hey, if then China gets involved, if Russia gets involved, things will get ugly very, very quickly. And we see the inflation now, we will see borderline hyperinflation because we already got bad inflation now. But if all of a sudden they have to start spending like crazy on military equipment, uh, have to keep on issuing more and more bonds, we will see inflation go up through the roof. People are going to start losing faith in the dollar. And some other countries may look at this and seize an opportunity to who have been buying gold this whole time when the West has been selling. The West has been selling their gold um, and the East has been buying and their currency, they might announce some kind of new currency with a gold-backed uh, currency. Now, Jamie Dimon has also come out and issued a warning that inflation wars and Fed policy pose major threats ahead. Because like I said, everyone, the Fed, if the US gets more involved with this conflict with Iran, won't be able to do anything. If you think the Fed is independent, they are not independent. The US government will tell the Fed, don't lift interest rates, cut interest rates when inflation is surging. And again, that's going to be bad news for the dollar. So I know what you're thinking. Well, okay, what can we do? Well, what is big money doing right now? We're seeing entire countries and we're seeing central banks, they are buying gold. Because when things really hit the fan, all countries will print currency, currency will become worthless, and the only money that has stood the test of time throughout history through whatever empire has risen or fallen, gold and silver has stood the test of time. So if you're wanting to protect yourself, you may want to have not just a bit, but a lot of physical. Because like I showed you on that chart in the previous video, there's been huge selling of ETFs, but there's been huge buying of spot and hard physical gold bullion. So again, everyone, what this means, inflation's going to get worse. The Fed's not going to be able to stop it. They're going to print money. The dollar is going to continue to lose purchasing power. And like the title says in this video, time is running out. You really need to prepare now. And not just gold. You can't, like, you hear a lot of people comment, you can't eat your gold. No, you can't eat your gold. You're going to want to have uh, long term storage of food, water, um, defense to if that food, you know, comes under attack. If people want to come and get your food, you're going to have to need to have a way to defend yourself because I think there is going to be a lot of tough times coming. This is very, very serious. I saw the news uh, this week that there was rumors that Iran would attack, and I was hoping it wouldn't, because I know how bad this could really end up. So everyone, again, what do you think about all of this? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. You're awesome. I'll see you all in the next video.